I am Marcus Blake with That Nerd Show. Uh, we're at the 2018 Earth by Film Festival. We're talking about Ben Soley and Mallory Cunningham and their film, Ditch the Van. I, I'm just intrigued by the name because it sounds like something you would do at a concert. So, but I don't think it's about that. Tell us a little bit about your film. Well, it's true. It's a, it's a film about music. It's a film about touring life. And okay, it's a film so, about sustainability. Okay, so I was kind of close to it. All yeah, right. Absolutely. So um, I've, I, uh, I'm a cellist and I write music and uh, perform it all over the world. And uh, back in 2000, the early 2000s, I found myself doing a lot of touring by planes and trains and automobiles and getting a little burned out. So I saw a commercial for uh, a bicycle called an Extra Cycle um, and ended up calling up the company and started doing music tours by bicycle. Where we would put the cello on the side of the bicycle and, and cruise down the highway. And we, we loved it, we had great experiences It oriented us towards the community and had a smaller carbon footprint in the world and maybe was able to slow me down as an artist to actually be able to be inspired by the world again and, and not just race by it. Fantastic. You know? Now, I mean, are you are you a cyclist too, or no, no? I'm actually so I directed and produced the film. And, okay. Um, work with Ben on a regular basis now. So, so you just get to hold the camera and make him ride around. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Just watch him work. Although, so the most of the bicycle tour footage that was shot for the film was shot before Mallory and I were working together, but uh, we're hoping to do more bicycle touring down the line. Did you, get on our bicycle did you find it, I'm a cyclist myself, did you find it like a big adjustment, you know, trying to, you know, get into it, and especially with this big thing on the side? Well, I mean, certainly there are times when uh, the weather and the, and the, the uh, topography of the road made it kind of challenging, but for the most part, with a bicycle, you just get on and you pedal, right? And you shift the gears around until they feel good. And some days it's hard, and some days it's easy. Uh, but it's very attainable. It's oh yeah, a, a incredible invention the bicycle. Now, when you when you ride, are you listening to music when you ride? Nope, keep your ears open. It's too dangerous otherwise. Okay, very good safety tip there. Now. As a cellist, how, how long have you been playing? Oh dear, like 26 years. I started uh, in public schools when I was nine years old, okay. and I've been playing cello ever since. All right. What brought What brought you to that project? Um, well, I've actually known of Ben and then been associated with Ben for gosh, I don't know, eight years now, and just always really admired him as an artist and a musician, and loved the fact that he did focus on sustainability and environmental issues in addition to playing amazing music, and so he and I started working together, and then it's kind of like, hey, let's dig out this old footage and turn it into something beautiful that people can relate to. Now, I, this is a kind of a rare opportunity for us to ask about classical music, because we don't interview many classical musicians. Well, I but. Mean, not mean the... Yeah, really? You might not. But, 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 yeah. but my question was, I mean, what is your favorite piece to play on the cello? Oh, um, what's it mean to be able to show? I mean, probably like um, sitting on the dock of the bay or oh, okay. stand by me. Okay. Uh, but if I was playing a classical piece of music, I, I, um, I of course adore the box suites. Sure. Uh, in particular, I, I love the sixth suite. I think it's a really neat piece of music. Um, and there's, but the, the the repertoire for cello music is just so broad and amazing. Right. And I think that's one of the reasons why so many people say, oh, I love the cello because there's so much great music written for the cello. But that being said, it's also um, a bit of an uh, exclusive instrument. You know, it's hard to it's hard to learn it. You have to have access to a, a teacher. It's still very much a master apprentice sort of program. And part of my story with the cello is trying to open it up, bring more folk and traditional types of music to the right. and maybe expand, broaden the types of people that feel like they can make their music on the cello. Good. All right. We always ask a nerdy question at that nerd show. How um, nerdy is she? <laughs> How nerdy are we going to get? Well, it's it's fairly simple. I, I, I think you can write. I know, right? <laughs> How do you build a lightsaber? No. If you could have a weapon of choice within the nerd universe, be it a superpower, lightsaber, you know, Thor's hammer, anything. Uh -huh. What would your weapon of choice be? And you both get the answer. This is, we're getting we're getting back to a lot of times when we're touring in the tour van, we play Super Fight. Oh yeah. It's a card game where you have oh, yeah. to you get you get powers and you have to debate whether or not which one's going to win. Uh -huh. It's all conceptual. But go ahead, Mallory. Oh my goodness. I mean, I kind of like the idea of an invisibility cloak, honestly. Uh, in a way, I think it 
think I could get a lot, get, get away with a lot with that. I mean, but also, I mean, the easy answer, but you said it was lightsaber. I know, I'm really not trying to influence you, but. Yeah, yeah. I'm not trying to influence you, but. <laughs> right. Um, so I think either, no, I can't do either. It's I have to choose, right? Choose. Um, uh, shoot, this is really, something elemental, I think. I would like to be able to, to uh, encourage things to grow. I think being able to being able to make plants grow, I think, would be a really cool superpower. I think that's a great superpower, especially for this film festival. Absolutely. So, well, thank you very much for interviewing with us. I can't not, I can't wait to see the film, and good luck. Thank you. Thanks.